Hi, I'm Paul Durianzo, and of course our uh, guest is Paul Werhun, who's mm -hmm. the Eggman. And uh, you saw, if you just tuned in, some of the materials he's been making, and we're going to just show you some photographs. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about each one? Just no, this is to... another type of skull egg that I've done, and this is um, this is actually based in Tibetan art. It's so beautiful. Where um, they're in the in the demonic Buddhas, they have these crowns that have these laughing skulls in them, and that's mm -hmm. where this comes from. Right. Um, that again is a die and scratch job. It's a it's non traditional in work. Now this particular piece is another globe that I had done on an ostrich shell in which um, I actually drew that image with color pencil. Oh wow. And that was in a show at Apex Art, which is a gallery in Tribeca. Yes. Um, and um, it was a commission piece for that show in which in this show, interestingly enough, collectors were given the piece. The gallery bought the artwork and then gave it to a collector. Oh, isn't that interesting? And it was this whole conversation <laughs> about the collecting of art and how art is purchased, etc. I'd like to also point out that you have pieces in museums as well, mm -hmm. that you're a very well-respected artist. This well, thank is a, you. a very accomplished person that we're talking to today. Oh. Now, <laughs> this, this particular Japanese, piece, right? yeah, it's based, I've, I love Japanese printmaking. This is based on a Hokusai print called um, Breaking Waves. But this particular piece was a board that was maybe about 12 by 18 inches, covered in white shell. All of the shell was laid down white, just like on this globe. Okay, okay. But then all of the shell, the whole board was dyed deep blue. Mm. And this process is actually bleaching, painting with bleach. Oh, how interesting. Just using common holes of bleach to and remove, to right, remove yeah. the, the, the color. So Paul, tell us about uh, the show that's coming up. Um, well, it's a show that's going to include, actually, I get a better hold of this. Th that's, yeah. that's the old um, <laughs> roses. Those were done with chicken shells. Uh -huh. And so what I'm going to do this time is show these larger ones the on these rear shells. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got five of them completed. Fantastic. But tell folks where, where the show's going. Oh, again, the show's at Envoy Gallery at 131 Christie. Um, and Just it's a block below Delancey. south of Delancey. Do you and have a website? Yes, it's paulwerhun.com, I give a name. And again, my last name is W-I-R-H-U-N. As you can see right there on the screen. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> That's oh, good. wow. I'm glad you said it as well. <laughs> All right, bring people's attention to it. Uh -huh. And what do we have here? Um, this particular piece, oh, this, there's a couple I of mobiles that I've, that I've done in the past. That was from a show I had at, um, oh, what is the name of that gallery over in the, in the meatpacking district? Uh, it, it one <laughs> naked egg. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy Brown's gallery. I had a show a few years ago, oh, and, and those right. were mobiles. And here's the one with the shell, the broken pieces of shell. Right. See, unfortunately, from those roses, I constructed this. This was actually four of those rose eggs broken apart and reassembled into that. And that piece was about a nine-inch square board. Because eggs do break. Eggs do break. And so that's where all this work comes from. Right. Let's talk a little bit about different kinds of eggs, because... Yeah. Okay. Like a chicken egg isn't like a duck egg or a... No, 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 no. See, this is one of the things that makes eggs so interesting is because each shell is different. Like um, duck shells tend to be really smooth mm -hmm. versus chicken shells are a little rough. The roughest shells are actually goose shells. Oh, interesting. Though, of course, you know, this piece I and showed you on the emu size, show... they vary in size, obviously. They vary in size to the largest, and I think I have here also an ostrich egg to show you. This is... This oh, is a, wow. a relatively oh, large um, phenomenal. Oh, here, wow, ostrich yeah. egg that was made into a skull. Oh, so beautiful. And then, then there's some gold leaf on this. Wow. So this particular piece. See, now, one thing I'd like to say about your work is that, for me, the colors, I mean, over and above the eggs and the whole thing, you have an incredible color sense to me. Huh. The, the colors are so beautiful in the globe, in this, in all the different pieces. Obviously, in the more traditional pieces, they're traditional colors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in everything else, you seem to achieve these incredible degrees of coloration, depth of color, contrast of color. I, th I, mean, I think you have an amazing sense right. of that.